blood and a rainbow. Genesis chapter 6 through 9. In the centuries that followed the time of Cain and Abel, the human race multiplied. Many turned to violence, so much so, that when God looked down upon the earth, he was filled with pain and sorrow. I should never have made mankind, God said. All they can think about is doing terrible evil. The whole world had become corrupt and full of wicked people. God was angry at the ruin of his creation and said, I will remove the people from the face of the earth. I will destroy this wickedness forever. But. There was one man, one alone, who pleased God. His name was Noah, and he lived an honest life. He was different from everyone else. He walked with God each day on the journey of his life. And this is how God decided to save Noah and his family from the destruction of the world. God spoke to Noah and said, Noah. I am going to put an end to all the people on earth because of their violence and hatred. You must build an ark of cypress wood, a huge boat with many rooms and a roof. Then you must seal the whole vessel with tar. Noah listened with great astonishment, for God was telling him to build a boat a long way from the sea. God told Noah exactly how to build the ark, saying, Put a great door in the side, and build lower, middle, and upper decks. Noah nodded quietly. He would obey everything that God told him right down to the last detail. Then God said, I am going to flood the whole earth and destroy every living creature. The waters will cover the world and everything that breathes will perish. But I will make my promise to you, Noah, my covenant forever with you and your family. You will go into the ark and you will be safe. The flood waters will not touch you. Noah stood up in fear and in awe of the judgment that God was bringing on the earth. And God said, You must take with you two of every living creature, every kind of bird and every kind of animal, males and females. Take them by pairs into the ark and take food for all the living creatures and for yourselves. In this way, you must take my creation with you. So Noah did everything that God commanded him. He and his sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, began to build the ark in the desert lands near where he lived. And Noah continued to build, although many people mocked and made fun of him and thought that he was crazy. At last, the massive floating box was ready the strangest vessel on earth. But still, there was no rain. The sun shone in a cloudless sky. People continued to laugh. Although Noah warned them, they took no notice. When Noah began to gather the animals, they were certain that he had gone crazy. The animals came to Noah and his family eagerly. They hurried in their pairs toward safety. And Noah welcomed them into the ark where they were fed and watered and housed in their stables and pens and hutches. At last, when Noah and all his family, his wife, their three sons, and their wives and all the animals were gathered into the ark, God shut the huge wooden door. And 
then it began to rain. And it rained for 40 days and 40 nights. The floodgates of heaven opened, and the springs of the deep burst into the desert, and streams and rivers swelled and burst their banks. Rain pelted down like a cascading waterfall over the whole earth. The storm was terrifying. The world was engulfed in an endless darkness, and the wild seas rose to fantastic heights and buried the tops of the mountains. So everyone outside of the ark perished in the great flood. Only Noah and his family and all the creatures in the ark survived. For 150 days after the rain had stopped, the ark floated on the flood waters that covered the earth, and there was no dry land in sight. But God had not forgotten his faithful servant Noah, and he sent a great wind that swept the waters back. Slowly, the floods began to go down, but there was no sight of land. But the darkness had rolled away. The ark floated slowly on until suddenly Noah and his family felt a shudder. They sprang to their feet as the boat made a loud scraping sound, wobbled and settled. The ark had come to rest on the mountains of Ararat. Noah opened the window in the ark and gazed across the huge expanse of water. It gleamed like silver under the grayness of the sky. But he could see no sign of life, nor could he hear anything. So he let out a raven to fly across the waters to see if the bird could find anywhere to settle. But the raven returned to the ark. Then Noah took a dove and released the bird into the air to see if she would find a place to perch. The dove circled in the sky and flew to the far horizon and back. After a long while, she returned. Noah held out his hand and brought her into safety. He waited another seven days. Then he released the dove again, and this time she returned the same evening, carrying an olive branch in her beak. So Noah knew that the waters were ebbing away from the earth at last. So he let the dove go once more. She did not return. So he released her mate. Then he opened the door and everyone saw that the waters had flowed back into the rivers and the seas and all around them was dry land. Then God said to him, Come out of the ark, you and your wife, and your sons and their wives. Bring out all the animals, every living creature, and let them free on the earth. Be fruitful. Increase and fill the earth with all of your offspring. So the animals ran and jumped and slithered and scuttled to freedom, and the birds flew and swooped and dived in the sky, singing and calling to each other. And Noah and all his family knelt down to worship God. Then God said, I will make a promise to you and all your descendants and to every creature that was in the ark. This is my promise. Never again will I cover the earth with water. Never will I devastate the world with the flood that overwhelms every living creature. As long as the world lasts, so will the times and seasons of the year. There will be sowing and reaping. There will be cold and heat. Summer will turn into winter and night will follow day. You will know that my promise is sure because I will put my rainbow in the clouds. At that moment, the most beautiful rainbow in all its shining array appeared and hung over the dark velvet of the sky. Noah and his family gazed up in wonder beneath this glorious ark of light. My rainbow, God said, 
will remind you of my promise to you and every living creature. I will see it and I will remember the everlasting bond that I have made between me and all life on the earth. In the years to come, Noah gazed up at the rainbows in the heavens and remembered God's promise. He served God all the days of his very long life. People gradually filled the earth again, but despite all that had happened, once more a time came when the human race became proud and did not remember or respect the power of God.